<laughs> oh, what a beautiful evening. There's a little bit of snow up here. Not all that much though. Oh yeah, there's, there's not much snow out here at all. So I figured I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation why I've sort of disappeared. This fall I made a video talking about my career change. I decided to leave my four day over week engineering job that I've been at for 12 years and started my own business in hopes that I could kind of do that 20 or 30 hours a week and then spend some more time in YouTube. Obviously things haven't gone that way. I absolutely love what I do and I'm so happy to have all the work for my new business. It's just been so much fun and such a great learning experience and I really, really have been enjoying it. But I've gotten so much work that obviously I just haven't had any time for YouTube at all. I also don't own a snowmobile. Uh, I'm hoping to pick one up sometime soon here. I've already looked at two. I actually looked at one about an hour north of here this morning. And uh, was it last weekend I went and looked at a different one too. And just cannot find anything that fits my criteria. Ooh, it's slushy out here, or it was. This thing's got a weird bog to it when you pin it. The plan is to start making videos again. Just gotta, gotta make the time for it. And, uh, and get a sled to ride. Hard to make sled videos without a sled. So the only thing I can think is something here that this is locked up. Oh yeah, this looks like it's chewed up. So I don't know what would have what would have happened. Try to try to spin that when I pick this up. That's that back one. Locked up, huh? Shit. Alright, how the hell we get this home? that does yeah. <laughs> do you want to take the four-wheeler back on the road and I'll just walk no I'll probably walk Woo! well that's not good all sorts of problems So it is now the next morning, we are headed back out to attempt to recover the sled, hoping it's not 
frozen into the slush. This thing is a bit packed full of ice. We'll see how this goes. Froze right to the ground. Whoops. Well, it would appear we have a frozen wheel. I guess we'll figure that out first. After riding that sled yesterday and trying to goof around in the little bit of powder that was out there, my knees are not feeling great. You're doing some weird pops and things while I was out there. Never really minded getting old. Never minding my gray hair. But now that it's affecting my riding, it's not so much fun. Up, 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 up. With a lot of practice. Ooh, she's chilly. I think it's about negative two. Now what I'm most concerned about is getting back up this hill. Not sure how that's gonna go. Isn't it fun working with big gloves? And all I gotta do is hoist it up. Oh, maybe she is froze. <laughs> Ready. There, we're good. All right. Yep. Will it not fit? Well, it has fit in here before. Yeah, so I think if you, if I get it up and then you just wrap it around this a couple times, that should hopefully get it to a point where there's just so much friction it won't be hard to hold up. Ready? Like a dream! Old King Quad doesn't even know it's back there. Now if I'm halfway up the hill, and the rope breaks is the fact that the skid is locked up. Can it keep it from going all the way down the hill? I think it should. What do you guys think is wrong with this thing? He said it felt like it was shuddering a bit and he felt like he hit something and then he took off again and then it just stopped dead and smoked the belt. So I'm thinking maybe that chain broke inside of there and got locked in there somehow. All right, moment of truth. Got enough moguls at the bottom here to wreck the, or rip the bumper right off the sled, I think. But I don't want to hit this too slow. No way to uh, avoid the moguls. Don't look back. I was worried about traction. It seems like we're doing okay on that front. Got it in four wheel with the diff locked. Sled's still coming. <laughs> and now we gotta take her nice and easy. And probably shouldn't take up two lanes. Yeah, she's just in the other lane now. I guess we'll ride in the ditch. Now this is the part I'm actually nervous about as far as the road goes. Well, we made it up the hill. So hopefully we can make it back home without leaving the sled in the middle of the road. I wonder if I'm 
dragging the track. I bet I am. Good thing the roads are icy. Yeah, I think uh, we may have relocated the bumper a little bit. Oops, come on, sled. Straighten up. Yeah, I think when I am sitting on this, the track has got to be dragging. Yeah, I'll be able to swing the butt end of this thing around and back it out.